Hello, it's Sensei Abian here from Zenshin Martial Arts in Birmingham. Uh, today we're just doing a few mawashi gerries, a few tips on mawashi gerries, how to get it out, how to control your balance, um, and how to get a powerful kick and not injure yourself while you're doing it. Okay, let's see how we get on. So I'm going to walk you through a three minute exercise before we start doing the mawashi gerry for real. So first we're going round with the knees in circular motions. Now we've straightened out the leg and we're flicking the, the leg round. Now we straighten the leg fully and um, extending the leg as we go around in circles. Come back to do some more flicks and changing it up. And from here we're just going to spread our legs and sit down in a squat and then straighten your legs and relax in that position. Try and tilt your pelvis here to get the most out of your stretch. Now you can move side to side, stretch out the ankles. Now come onto your toes and your heels, shift the weight forward and back. This is great for warming up the feet and now shift the weight side to side, toes pointing up. Just keep it light and moving. And now we're gonna switch our weight into a, a lunge on either side. And just keeping that back leg bent. Now we're trying to bring our hip to one side and use our hands to support us. And try and keep your body facing forward this whole time. Really open up the hips. This can be quite a, a more advanced stretch. Now coming back to this middle position, spreading our arms out, wrapping our toes, pull ourselves down. Now practicing the crow, that was the crow position there. Stand up and stretch your legs. Great for balance. Make sure you bring your knee to knee in that position. Now you knee up as high as you can to your chest. Now we're going to bring the foot back to our, our bum cheek and turn that standing foot all the way around 180 degrees. And now for our side kick, we bring the knee across our body. Shake it off and do it with the other leg. Up to the knee. Then bring it back and then bring it into more washi go position, pull the knee back and then pull the knee across, still facing forwards. So now we're going to practice using a bar. You could use any kind of object or furniture to help you be stable so here we lift up the knee in front of us and we're just going to extend our leg we're just practicing the maigo here okay so now we turn our hips and that standing foot all the way around so notice it's forward then we turn it facing backwards so lift up and turn that standing foot all the way around and that knee's pointing forward still. The face is turned forward. You should feel comfortable getting into this position to do uh, a good kick. See the position of the right leg here. It turns 180 degrees in total. That is so important to get the the necessary um, alignment for a proper kick. Uh, now Sensei is practicing it without the support and just coming into that chambered position for the kick. Now from a front on angle you can see that 
knee that's being raised is pointing towards the uh, opponent or the direction of the kick. The knee is pulled back close to that, close to your bum cheek again, and that's ready to kick out. By varying the speeds, you can help increase your control. It takes a lot of um, strength to be able to do this exercise slowly. Now really try and lift your knee high when you do it as well. That's going to allow you to kick a lot higher. So after those few basic exercises and you feel comfortable um, holding those exercises, that's really the foundation of the kick. You shouldn't just be swinging your le leg at things without knowing the position of your feet and your legs because over time this creates bad habits and injuries. So here Sensei is practicing lifting his knee forward and then rotating in one smooth motion. Lifts up and turn with the knee pointed. This is great for balance, targeting and distance. With the Mawashigeri, you have to pull the leg back after impact, so we're not following through. Sensor here is able to control his um, pull back motion after the kick. Kick and then he pulls it back. <laughs> he didn't there. Kick and pull back, that's what we want. Kick and back. Notice how he's always looking forward. He's got his guard up to protect himself. Bouncing like this in between can just help create a bit of rhythm and momentum. It's a useful skill to have. Boy straight off both feet as well. Start off slowly. So that's two motions in one. Lift up the knee first, facing forward, then you turn onto the side and open up your hips and your foot. On impact, make sure your foot is pointed. I have to say like a ballerina, how they point their toes. We want to hit with the top of the foot. If you were wearing shoes, like where your laces would be. So, today we're just going to be going through a little bit more washing carry, a roundhouse kick. Okay, so here's just a few tips and tricks on how to get your roundhouse cut nicely and to not hurt your hips or your knees. Okay, see how, see how we go. 